The difference between excellence and mediocrity is commitment. When I say to commit, I don't mean just to stick with it. Commitment is so much more than that. And before I show you seven necessary things to help you to achieve it, let me explain you exactly what I mean by commitment. You have to view it like a multi-faced object, and each face is equally important so that it stays together. In this video, I talked only about commitment on personal development goals, and you probably started your journey for different reasons. Maybe because you've had enough of the stage you are in your life so you decided to make a change, or you've been inspired by other stories and you reasoned with them so you took action. In either cases, you want to make sure that you remain consistent with your actions. Small steps will make the change. The most important question here is why? What is the real reason behind what you do? Find a deeper meaning to your actions and get anchored to that. If the things that you want to achieve have more meaningful reason behind them, there is a higher chance you are going to persist and not let go of it. So here's what you can do. Write your goal down on something where you can have access to it at any time, on a piece of paper or in your note app, and under, write the real reason you want to achieve that goal. Let's say that you want to go to the gym and improve your looks in the next six months. If you do this, just so you get validation from others, there is a high chance that you are going to quit. Instead, if the reason is that so you can improve your health and confidence, then I'm sure you're more likely to stick with it. We all have our struggles, but one of the most common struggle is focus. I myself have a hard time to stay focused for a long period of time, mostly because I'm easily distracted by anything, and I've tried endless solutions to help me with this, but I'll show you the things that work for me. You can also experiment to see what works best for you. Practice mindfulness. As soon as you realize you've been distracted, reconnect yourself back online by letting go of whatever distracted you and write it down. Social media is one of the biggest problem in this topic, and I know most of you watching right now struggle in a way or another with it. So what I've done that worked for me is deleting every social media on my phone, keep max one, and when I work at my desk, I use social media blocker extension. And for YouTube something similar, DFTube, that is making your homepage blank so that you don't see anything except the things you search, also has other functions too. It will save you plenty of time. Ask yourself how did you perform in high stress situations? When you had a project that you had to finish for the next day or to learn for an exam, how focused and concentrated were you? That should give you an answer on how well you can do in urgent situation when someone or something puts pressure on you. You have to master the feeling of pressure under certain situations, how you react. For some people to perform at their highest level, there is a constant need of someone to push them from behind. I always pressure myself and I keep myself accountable for every decision I make, so I stay grounded at all times. Change is not always good, but for you to make a significant change in your lifestyle, you have to get rid of old habits and install new ones. Stay as consistent as possible if you know it's for the better. And a little trick that always works for me. When I have to do something and I don't feel like doing it, I ask myself in my mind, do I feel like doing this right now? No. Do I need to do it? Yes. Then I'm gonna do it. What this does is making you feel bad for not being disciplined and it keeps you accountable. Remember that if you want to change in any aspect of your life, you have to do the uncomfortable. So, always be open to change things in your daily habits, but give it enough time before trying something else. That, if you don't see results right away. If you work on a project, or something that doesn't require the help from others, or maybe you want to go to the gym, the best thing to do is to keep it to yourself. We feel the need to tell our goals to others, what we do, what we work at. The reason is instant gratification. You get dopamine hit, because you feel like you've already achieved the final goal, attain the need to prove yourself to others, that you do the work, do this things in private. Trust me, it's the best thing to do. Let the results speak for themselves. Sometimes the environment doesn't help either. Where you work, where you study, the people you surround yourself with. Maybe they aren't on the same path as you, and all these things have a pretty big impact on your growth and on your desire to stay committed to the work. Changing at least something on this aspect will surely make a difference. In order for something to be born, something has to die. It's always hard to let go of something, if that something was part of our lives for a good period of time. But if you want the change, you have to do the change. Take one step at a time, even if your goal is far away. We tend to look further away in our progression, and all is this going to do is just discourage us more. And then we get anxious and fall into procrastination because we don't know where to start from. Focus on what you have to do today, live in the present, and it will result in compounding your efforts. In the end, you won't even realize how much you've progressed and how far away you've got. Just break down what you want to achieve and take it piece by piece. The biggest breakthrough for most people is just the start. You have to start, then the flow is going to come naturally. Naturally.